uh, roller coaster has a velocity of 50 meters per second when it re reaches the bottom of the hill how, how high did it fall from so let's draw a picture of a coaster on this uh, we'll have a roller coaster and it goes whoo down like so and then you know it goes through a loop pull some G's there and we're good to go so this roller coaster falls through this height and as you go down the hill we'll just roll, draw the roller coaster here it is in the beginning it's going really slow actually we'll assume it starts off from rest when it gets to the bottom it's really moving fast so it starts off with nothing and ends up with something what's done on it as it falls if it's gaining velocity a uh, work is done on it and you're losing one form of energy and going to another so you start off with some e and you end up with some new form of energy e prime the starting energy is all the way at the tippy top will be gpa and your ending energy at the bottom is ka so you lose one form and gain another work is done on and you'll gain speed positive work because you're falling in the direction of your displacement. So we can write down the equation for mg or the change in GPA would be mg times delta h and that's equivalent to your gain in ka that's one half m v squared and the motion in a gravity field is independent of its mass so all objects that fall through that height, whatever that height is we're going to solve for, will have that same speed. And that speed will be 50 meters per second. And that's going to be big kids, little kids, all kinds of stuff, so long as we can ignore friction. And there's no friction in this world. It's negligible. We'll ignore it. So to solve this for delta H, I'll rewrite G delta H is v squared divided by 2 1 half times v squared is v squared divided by 2 we'll divide through by g and we're home free hey that was a rhyme so delta h is v squared divided by 2g in the problem we're given that the in, that the velocity at the bottom is 50 meters per second We'll square that, divided by 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. And let's just take a trip and observe the units again. Meters per second times meters per second is meters squared, or r meters squared per second squared, dividing by meters per second squared. And I don't even think we need to divide by the reciprocal we can see that second squared will cancel second squared and this squared will cancel that and it leaves us with a delta H of meters 50 squared divided by 2 times 9.8 we'll extend the page reveal the answer and if you fell 50 and if you were falling 50 meters if you were going if your velocity was 50 meters per second at the bottom of that hill that means you fell 127 meters that'd be one heck of a hill that would be 300 some feet at least very tall roller coaster very scary these people are very brave oh they're in for big trouble because if they hit that loop going that fast they're gonna pull some big time G's sounds like fun almost as fun as 